everybody. Today I'm talking about Venus in Leo. Uh, this is a short transit from 31st of August to uh, 24th of September. Uh, Leo, Venus is uh, kind of uh, in a royal sign. It wants to do all grand gestures, enjoy itself. I think more uh, Venus in Leo uh, uh, has to be towards the end of it when uh, Venus is in more uh, complex situations. So let us explore. Hello, I'm Komela Sutton and we are talking Venus in Leo. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. Venus in Leo is going to be from 31st August to 24th of September. As it goes into Leo, Sun is already there and the other planets are pretty powerful and uh, Venus is quite comfortable there, uh, wanting that grand gesture, enjoying. Uh, it's a fiery sign, so there can be little hot-headedness or wanting to do things impulsively. But nothing uh, super negative is happening there. So I think Venus is generally uh, quite comfortable in Leo. Also, it's coming out of Cancer where it was in opposition to Saturn. So it could have been feeling a little bit stressed out. But as we move towards the end of the Leo transit, uh, Venus starts going closer to the sun and it is going to uh, combust and be uh, uh, reach combustion later on. But on that particular time, the combustion is starting. So the last uh, three days of uh, Venus in Leo. Uh, so we have to just watch out. Uh, Venus represents relationships. So are we feeling burnt out with them, uh, uh, you know, over... Uh, stimulated by relationships. I don't know whether that's the right way to put it, but it could be just that you feel over um, anxious about them. And uh, But Venus also for Taurus and Libra is just saying that take a break, take a rest. And I think Venus is going towards its debilitation sign in Virgo. And so that is another area of challenges Although Mercury is in Virgo and therefore Venus uh, has a cancellation. So I'll talk more about that later. Uh, but at present, I think mostly Venus in Leo transit is to enjoy and to uh, just enjoy the end of the summer. Uh, and uh, let us explore how it affects you. And do remember that we are looking at from the moon sign and your ascendant. Aries, Leo is your fifth house, so that's a house of fun, creativity, children, uh, general good transit for you, short transit, not a major impact for you. Uh, Taurus, uh, uh, Leo is your fourth house, home, happiness, uh, also maybe thinking about redoing your home, property, so this is a nice time to uh, think uh, how you can improve, also spend some time with your mother if uh, uh, the opportunity arises for you or call her. Uh, Gemini, Leo is your third house. It's house of communication. Uh, Venus makes it very smooth. Most of this transit, uh, Mercury is in Virgo, so you feel very empowered. Uh, Cancer, Leo is the second house of finances, so uh, maybe good time to pay a little attention to what you're doing with money and finances and um, uh, Venus also rules 11th house of profit for you. So this can be a good time to think about savings and what you can do and pay a little attention there. Leo, Venus is uh, in Leo. So you feel very happy, loved up. People are appreciating you, liking you. Uh, Venus also rules your third house of communication. It also rules your um, 10th house of career, so there can be opportunities for career. You are uh, communicating with people smoothly and you're feeling uh, very much appreciated, but it doesn't last long, so enjoy. Uh, Virgo, uh, Leo is your uh, 12th house, so 
uh, Venus can uh, increase expenses for you. However, throughout this transit, uh, Mercury is in Virgo, so you feel empowered. I would say trust your judgment. If you need to make some expenses, then do, but otherwise, uh, you know, think about what is it that uh, you want to do, analyze it, and that would be the best. Bra Venus is your ascendant ruler, moon ruler. It's transiting the 11th house of profit. Uh, and uh, so this may be a good time if you want to uh, think about ways to make profit or you want to increase your earnings in some way uh, to think about that. Also, Sun will be in the 11th house, which is the 11th house ruler. Uh, so definitely that is the area of, of focus. Uh, Scorpio, Venus is in your 10th house for professional luck, opportunity. Uh, it's a short transit. It's not necessarily giving uh, you any um, great push there. But because Sun is also there for part of this transit, Venus will be with the Sun. Therefore, focusing on your work is a good idea. Sagittarius, Leo is your ninth house. It's a short transit of Venus in your ninth house. Sun is also there. So I think uh, Venus there, but Sun also being there is focus on higher mind, good opportunities, general good luck. And uh, that is the best thing for you to do. Capricorn Leo is your eighth house. Eighth house is not the best transit for you. Sun is there, Venus is there. Venus is one of your great planets. Being in the eighth house, it can bring sudden unexpected events or uh, thoughts I want to change. Uh, I would say best to wait till Venus goes out of uh, Leo to make any major decisions. Aquarius, Venus is in your seventh house of love and romance and uh, definitely uh, it is stimulating that area. It is giving positive vibes to you uh, uh, for uh, relationships. Venus in Leo cannot bring new relationships because it doesn't last long enough. But we have Sun there also, Venus also there, so enjoy. Pisces, uh, Leo is your sixth house. And so Venus is in um, Leo, it's a health healing, it's also to do with opposition. I think think about health, think about how you can improve that. Uh, also, if you are facing some opposition, uh, be wise about how you want to react to it. However, the positive thing is that Jupiter is strong and it is uh, giving you the correct wise thoughts about how to deal with it. So that is it for today. Thank you so much. Do remember to subscribe and press the bell notification. All the best.